Hi, I'm Vicki Hingman with the University of Wyoming Weston County Extension. And today I'm going to talk to you about how to make the perfect baked potato. Of course, I'm going to do it in the oven, but there are many ways to bake a potato. You can do it in the microwave. You can bake a potato in a slow cooker. You can also do the pressure cooker. And of course, you can put them on the grill. In this day and age, a lot of people now have the small air fryers, so you can make baked potatoes in an air fryer. But today, my techniques are about cooking the potato in the oven. Now, when you bake your potato in the oven, the first thing you need to do is forgo the foil. You don't want to wrap your potato in foil because that steams it and it will give the interior texture of the potato a different type of interior. It won't be the light, fluffy, airier baked potato interior. Now first you're going to get a baked potato to use and I like the Idaho or russet potato. It's the tan potato in other words. It has a great starchy interior that makes for a wonderful baked potato. Take a baked potato and be sure to scrub it really well. They grow up in the dirt, so they need to be scrubbed and cleaned. Then dry the potato. You can use just a regular towel to dry it or a paper towel. Now the reason you want to dry it is because we are going to prepare it for the oven and we don't want it to steam with the moisture. So first thing I'm going to do to prepare this baked potato is to poke holes in it. I'm using a knife. You can also use a fork. So I've just poked probably six to eight times in my potato and that way it won't explode. Then I'm going to put my potato on a plate and I need to cover it with either melted butter or oil. I prefer the taste of melted butter. Now once I flip it over, I'm going to do the other side with butter also. But I would like to have the holes on top when it's baking. So I'm going to flip it back and this is when I'm going to season it. I like it to be crunchy. So I'm going to use a coarse salt, such as kosher. If you would like, you can also put pepper on it. Now all I have to do is put it in the oven. Now you can put it on the rack. You can put it on a foil lined baking sheet. It just depends on how you prefer to cook your potatoes. I usually just put them right on the oven rack. Now the oven should be preheated to 425 degrees and the potato will take approximately 45 to 60 minutes. It depends on how big of a potato you are baking. You can always check it and then cook it a little longer. Once the baked potato comes out of the oven, it should be nice, salty, crispy, and have a touch of pepper seasoning on it. As you can see, the air holes have opened up slightly. Now a perfect baked potato will register 210 on your thermometer. So give it a poke. And if it registers 210 degrees, pull it from the oven. It's ready to go. Today, we are going to make a baked potato with two different toppings. So, it's a quick and easy meal. You can make extra baked potatoes. If you have extra baked potatoes, store them in your refrigerator. Put them in a covered container or wrapped up on a plate and they'll stay four days or so in the refrigerator. One thing to remember though is to not put the baked potatoes in the refrigerator hot. Let them cool down somewhat because otherwise you just trap in the pathogens that can grow in that hot temperature. Do not store a baked potato in foil if you did wrap it in foil. 
Remove the foil before you store it in the refrigerator. Also, if you have extra baked potatoes, they can be reheated once they have been refrigerated. Turn your oven on to 350 or so and just heat it. That will make the skin crisp again. Of course, you can use the microwave. So today, we're going to make a barbecue baked potato. I've got my baked potato here. I know it's done because if I push in, I can feel that it's soft. I also took the temperature. I'm going to cut a hole down it and I like to squeeze it to fluff it up. If you'd like, you can also use a fork. For this barbecue, we're going to put a little bit of cheese right down the center of the potato. Next, I'm going to top it with some barbecue pork. This can be leftover or it can be something that you've just prepared. They even have barbecue pork ready-made at your grocery store. Now for the final touch on this barbecue baked potato, I'm going to top it with coleslaw. You have a warm, wonderful meal that's ready to go in minutes. All I had to do was bake the potato first and top it. The second baked potato is going to be an Alfredo baked potato. I'm going to cut it open. Again, I'm going to fluff it. Open it up. If you'd like to fluff it with a knife or fork, feel free. Now for this Alfredo, I decided shrimp sounded good. So I took some shrimp and warmed it up in the skillet. I topped it with Alfredo sauce. So I have a shrimp Alfredo sauce ready to go on this baked potato. You can use chicken or any other cooked meat, or you can use a raw meat that you cooked and then heat up your sauce. This was extremely easy to make. And I've decided to top it off with a Parmesan provolone cheese mixture. This is another really simple hearty meal to make with a baked potato. For you, I've created a handout. And it is on all kinds of toppings of baked potatoes. So there's no excuse not to bake a potato and have a wonderful meal. The other handout tells you the different ways to bake a potato. Now, sometimes these aren't really baked. They're more of a steamed potato, such as cooking it in the microwave. But you'll have a wonderful, quick meal in minutes.